For present tense, any and all verbs end in what? I'm sorry, let me make that more specific. In present tense, any yo form verbs end in o. So, oasa amosan, old news, right? What happens when we compare those to the imperfect tense? Do they look very similar, except for the yo form? So, you have AR verbs in the present tense, which are very similar to endings in the imperfect tense. Present, imperfect. Present, imperfect. So, you gotta remember the O form is the same as the AO stead form, and then you're good. Accent very clear on the nosotros form. Right? Okay. Unfortunately, that cool little thing doesn't work for ER IR verbs. Your IR verbs are just lovely. Your IR verbs that don't have a rhyme or reason to them. Um, but if you are going to compare it to your same endings as your AR verbs, they do have AS, A, AMOS, AN at the end. So fairly easy to um, remember. And again, anything to do with imperfect is the same on the yo and the el eosted form every single time. Okay. What happens if we have a verb and it happens to be a reflexive verb? Any big deal? Okay, stays the same. You're just gonna need your me, te, se, nos, and se. Both se on the bottom for both of those. For uh, the rest of your irregulars, you just have to remember what they are, but you only have three. Remember that ver um, does use ve as its stem, and then the rest of your um, endings are going to be your regular ERIR endings. For the quiz, you're going to have regular and irregular verbs, but the verbs are going to be in Spanish. For the test, your verbs are going to be in English, which means you'll have to know meaning same verbs that we've been working with. I haven't given you any new verbs. There's a few in the vocab, but for the most part, you know meanings for all the other verbs we've done. And then ir, um, to go, and said to be, two very different meanings. And like we've talked about, there's going to be a section on the quiz where you're going to have to distinguish between going somewhere, or technically went, went or used to go to a place or to do something versus um, the verb to be, which would have to do with any of your, I always shorten it to COP, characteristic, origin, or occupation and permanence. Technically, that could also be possession. But any of your other reasons, time, date, um, relationships, material something's made out of, all the other reasons that we've gone over for set. So the sentence should fit with one of the reasons for set um, versus um, and you have all ten reasons if you want to go back and look at your midterm review, you have all of them there if you don't have them from Spanish 1. Um, and then again, the verb to be similar AR endings there as present tense endings. So ASA, AMOS, AN. And again, anything to do with regular or irregular imperfect verbs is the same for the O form and the AO stead form. No matter what we're talking about, whether it's a regular verb, irregular verb, etc. Now, all the other verbs that we've talked about that were irregular in some way, shape, or form in the past, in present, um, or preterite tense, not the imperfect past tense, um, are going to now be regular verbs. So unless it's bit, said, or eat, treat it like a regular verb. And so, process of elimination.